You look good. Thank you, bud. Smoothie. Bye, have a good day at work. Love you. Bota no meio do buraco aqui. É, no meio do buraco. Que é pra regular. So this is my lovely fur baby, and his name is Deuce. So Deuce has been here for a day. He's taking a bath already. He smells amazing. Put some good essential oils on him. Got him a good little oatmeal bath. And now the kids have him. So I'm bring him back, but. Family, say hi to Ducey. All right, you guys, let's jump into the reason why we are actually here. And that is for the install of the Vigo panel. Let me share with you guys right now. This one here is called the Sutton. I'm gonna go into a few details. This is supposed to offer you a spa-like experience with their hydrotherapy. It has a pressurized body sprayer and of course, you can kind of gauge hot and cold with the shower, which I love. Something to consider about this, which I think a lot of you guys will love, especially considering my DIY journey into this house. Vigo's easy install supports DIY installation. Now, I'm not really great with plumbing. I don't want to deal with plumbing. So I did hire professional plumbers to come in to do the install. And even they said this was so smooth. As you look on the wall right now of the shower, you can see if you're going to be installing one of these panels, all you need really is the bottom gauge. So just a second ago, I told you that this one here is called the Sutton, right? So you have four body sprayers and of course the control gauge. I wanna share with you another one, which is called the Bowery. Now, if you only have a tub and shower all in one, you can purchase the Bowery. The Bowery does have a tub filler at the bottom. So if you look at the shower panel now and you see the small little boxes that are on the panel, there is a fourth square that will run the water into the tub. So if you're considering an upgrade for your kids or even for yourself, you can do the upgrade without necessarily having to change every single thing out. Let me just say shout out to Vigo, okay? No, they did not pay me. They did not pay me. They offered me an opportunity to work with them and I took the chance because I love the overall look and I actually went online to look up some of their trade shows and it had really great reviews. And so it wasn't just a collaboration where I was like, oh, it's free. I really did my research and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the chance because I had a different company in mind. Right now, I'm having conversations with my clients and Vigo is right there on the list. The flexibility, the look, the design overall, I love. I also wanna share with you that these panels, they come in black, they come in gold, and they also come in silver. So I am actually looking forward to putting the gold one in my closet bathroom. That one's gonna be super girly. It's gonna be gold everywhere, darling. Prepare yourself to be sick of me. <laughs> ah, but I'm loving the black overall. Um, I wanted to find something that was gonna offer a balance between uh, me and uh, my boyfriend's style. Um, I didn't want it to look like a like a girl's palace when you walked in. And so I just was like, you know what? This is really nice. This is the guys turning on the shower right now. I'm going to let y'all, you know, take that in. But definitely check out Vigos. I am going to leave them in the description box down below. If you've never heard of them, you've never thought about them, think about them, y'all. I just feel like they really thought about the working girl when they made this. You're going to get wet. Okay, I'm gonna share with you how to turn this on. First things first is I'm gonna go ahead and turn the dial. And now, you're gonna get wet! Hey, you're gonna get 
way. Oh, sorry y'all. Okay, so this is the shower. And so now I'm gonna turn the shower. I'm gonna face this all forward. forward. There goes the body sprayer. And then the other option is the cord sprayer, which I love. I feel like this is the one that, you know, um, I love the cord sprayer because now when it comes time for me to not only clean the shower, but to take deuce a shower, this is gonna be so easy. Okay, so that's that. And then turn that off, turn the shower on. So this here controls all of that. And this is gonna be the hot and cold gauge here. So this control the hot, this is hot. Ooh, that feels good. And then this is cold. Ooh, this, this, is, ooh, this feels good. I'm gonna share with you guys again. This is the shower above, this is the body, and I just want to share with you that the body actually goes four. So you've got the top and the two bottoms. So if you stand right here, you'll get you a nice little car wash situation. And then you have that with the cordless. I will say, I wish the body and the head came on together, but it doesn't. And that's all. So I'm gonna cut this off. And that is pretty much our new shower head, which I love you guys. It is perfect. But I'm sure when it comes to the shower head, you can find something else. I will say, I do feel like Vigo's did an absolutely amazing job one of the things to consider is unlike the standard shower all i needed was one of the plumbing pipes to be out right here so this one hole actually goes up through the tower to fill not only the body sprayers but also the shower head so if you are going to change out what you currently have for this just keep that in mind that they're gonna have to close the top one because it's not really necessary unless you just want it like that. But overall, I absolutely love this. I'm gonna move back a little bit. So I know prior to getting the shower done, a lot of you were a little like, what's gonna be happening on the other side? What's going on on the other side? And this tower has pretty much been on the corner for a while. Well, this is pretty much it. The next thing that's gonna happen is there's going to be a glass that's gonna be placed here. So it's gonna be eight feet high and 36 wide, and it's gonna leave a 25 inch opening to be able to go in. So the linear space overall was actually quite big. I wanna say it's like 210 or something. Like that. I did the measurement. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was definitely in the 200s. It's just the width, I could not get it and I wasn't gonna try to knock down any more walls because again, this was on a budget. I'll share that with you guys towards the end of the video. But today with the installers coming out, they did an absolutely amazing job and I love the overall look and feel of how the tower came together. All right, you guys, it is a couple of days later and the same plumbers came in to install the sink. They made a slight mistake. We're gonna fix it when they come to do the kitchen plumbing. I'm not gonna have them fix it right now. It's perfectly fine. You can't even see it <laughs> if I tell you. I'm just really particular. So the labeling of Vigo is supposed to be like right here on the sink and it's on the front facing side. So they have to actually um, turn the vessel around, but I'll have them do that when they come in to do the plumbing for the kitchen, which is literally happening in two weeks. So I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. But the Vigo's faucet is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna turn it on real quickly. This is hot, this is cold. I love it, you guys, absolutely love it. 
something you may want to consider also now for the stopper the best option was to do white i'm going to share with you guys really quickly you press the stopper down you run the water and you can fill the vessel and then you let the water out I did not want to do silver, I did not want to do gold, I did not want to do black. I just thought doing white was going to create an overall finish. The last thing that I want to share with you guys are these subway tiles. They are from Floor Decor. I actually ended up purchasing these from the ReStore. They were like 4 or $5 for a box. When I went on to Floor Decor, this was supposed to be like $89. Um, but I ended up getting them for five. I am going to do a herringbone design on this wall right here to finish this off. So this is going to look really, really great. Let me just say now, I highly, highly, highly recommend going into the ReStore because I actually have four, five, I think I have like eight box of tile because we have a total of to, we have four bathrooms and potentially one going into the basement and so I just was like you know what while I'm finding all the material on sale why not just go ahead and purchase it so I am looking forward to doing the tiling here and me and my uncle will be doing the tile work so that's going to be coming too. Both of these units work and I love it it looks really good so there's going to be a light fixture that's going to be added right here in the middle and then you have all of this you guys we're almost at the end of this bathroom and i will be able to do a tour just to give you like the overall look but i'm very happy with how the space is coming along and baby boy is sleeping i'm gonna share okay so you guys see his crate training right now and it's really funny because I went and bought like all this stuff and so I also got the crate right and then today I went into the store and I was like "Ooh, this little bed's gonna be so cute and I got rid of like all his blankets that he actually came with and I grabbed this blanket and then his bears right there and I washed everything and cleaned it but he's not sleeping in it and I don't know why but if you guys look, he's all the way in the back. Look at him. He is not sleeping in his bed, and I don't know why. So if you have any tips as to share with me how he can sleep in his bed and not way back there, I would really love it. Now, I do plan on upgrading him once he's fully potty trained. Right now, he has not used the crate, and I'm noticing... He's not using the crate at all, which is really good. And around 7.30, he will cry out for us to take him outside. And so the good thing is the boys go to school in the morning. So it's like a quick wake up, let him out, put him back in, let him eat, stay outside with him for about an hour, let him back in. And then every two hours, I let him out. So he's been using outside, but I do not just let him roam freely in the house right now. But he's just so cute. Deuce. He doesn't respond to his name either. Deuce. Baby. Y'all, he gone. Baby, he sleep. He definitely is not a guard dog. Deuce. Hey. Yep, he's sleepy, y'all. Anyway, y'all have a good night. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Let me just say, you know how they say your dog eventually matches your personality. At this point, he like, baby, look, this nap is so good. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>